finally we have the summer wheels on and it transformed the look of the car at least and we'll see how much of a difference it makes with regards to the performance so we have the black 791m wheels and we have Bridgestone Turanza run flat tires and they are 255-35 R19 in the front sorry in the rear and in the front we have 225-40 R19 hopefully these will grip a bit better than the 17 inch Pirelli Soto Zero winter tires we had on it will be interesting to see if there is any difference at all or not and if we move inside and have a look on the temperature we have outside so we have 10 plus degrees Celsius so it's some six degrees warmer than last time we are a little bit lower than half tank last time I think we had three quarters of a tank full I don't think uh, the half tank or three quarters of a tank will make that much of a difference because it only has 40 liters of capacity and running six degrees warmer I don't think it will make much of a difference either and looking at the tire pressure we are running 2.9 bar on both left and right side and the temperature uh, on the tires are 13 degrees I don't know uh, how accurate this is but uh, this is what we have to go with and we will be running the transmission in sport mode we will have extra boost function enabled and we will do one run with with traction control fully on we will do one run with traction control in traction and then we will do one run with traction control fully off and we'll see if it makes any difference and we won't run anything with the launch control because that I didn't do last time but we will see if we can do one run with launch control because I was not able to engage it last time around then so without any further ado let's get on with the runs So we don't have any cars, let's reset the draggy and give it a go. It's a bit windy I can tell, but it's beautiful weather anyway. The car is pulling strong I have to say. So let's do the second run. We have the traction mode in traction and gear lever is in sport mode. Let's see how we'll do. That was a better start, I think. Well, let's see. A third run with the traction control fully off and see how it will go. Much more wheel spin. I don't think we will get a good time this time around. But again, let's compare the runs after we have done them all. Damn it, I forgot to put the video recording on. I'll try to do one more run with the traction control fully off and let's see if we can get that on video all right let's give it a go much better start it felt like a better start at least but well, let's see what kind of numbers we'll get once we get to a halt There you have it ladies and gentlemen, the summer setup did have some positive impact even though the tires are new as I wrote and also the temperature outside was potentially not the greatest for uh, summer tires, specifically run flat tires which are quite a bit stiffer than regular tires but still we got some improvements. I have my cheat paper here with some numbers. So last time we were able to run a 0 to 100 kilometers an hour at 6.05 seconds and that equates to a 0 0.60 miles an hour time of 5.76 seconds and the runs we did with the summer wheels then we were able to manage a 5.8 
three seconds for the zero to 100 kilometer sprint and the zero to 60 miles an hour is at 5.52 seconds which is a quite substantial difference i mean it's not a super fast car but the quoted numbers from bmw i believe the zero to 100 kilometers an hour is at 6.2 and the 0 to 60 is at 5.9 and if we just look at the 0 to 60 time we did run a 5.52 which is 0.4 of a second quicker than the official numbers which is pretty decent and i have to say the car feels really quick actually to be honest but uh yeah and if we look at uh, uh, the eighth of a mile time so the 201 meter runs we managed a 9.07 last time and this time around we managed a 8.9 second run so that is almost a 0.2 of a second difference as well which is a big difference in uh, the actual uh, eighth mile run and we will get to the quarter mile runs for you who are aware getting numbers down on the quarter mile run is very difficult to just just to get a tenth or so so getting the numbers down the quarter mile we got last time a 13.99 and this time around we got a 13.81 which again is approximately around two tenths of a second quicker than last time which is really awesome just as a reference my mustang it was really quick it did uh, with the same draggy on, and on the same road more or less it did a 12 point to two seconds so having a family car which is a hybrid etc and running a time of 13.81 seconds is rather respectable that is that we'll see if we do some more runs in the future when we get a bit hotter weather and the tires are more broken in but if you have any questions just hit me up in the comment sections below and i will try to answer them the best i can and also do remember to subscribe if you do like the content and hit that bell icon to stay notified for any new content that will be uploaded with regards to the mx5 and the bmw and car detailing stuff as you can see i have made some updates we will do a small garage tour in the future so with that said then i'll see you on the next one